All right, folks, second Pat here, and today I'm at the Melbourne Exhibition Center for the All Energy event. Now, you've probably heard of Blue Yeti. Maybe you know them for their portable power stations, those big battery packs people like to take camping. In fact, I've reviewed them on the channel here before, but here at the All Energy event, Blue Yeti is showing they're not just about camping and off-grid adventures. They're stepping it up in a big way with home and small business energy storage systems. And the big news, well, the Australian premiere of the EP2000, and this is their most powerful system yet. And Blue Yeti is making a clear statement here. They're here to compete with the big names in home energy. Let's start with the EP760. This one's been around a little longer, but it's still a very solid system. It's modular, you start at about 9.9 .9 kilowatt hours and scale up to nearly 30 kilowatt hours as your needs grow. It's got both AC and DC coupling, which means it works whether you're retrofitting onto an existing solar or starting afresh. It's CEC approved, of course, VPP ready, and even qualifies for the 30% cheaper home batteries rebate. Performance wise, the EP760 can handle up to nine kilowatt of solar input across three MPTs and switches to backup in just 0.01 seconds if the grid goes down. That's basically seamless. You won't even notice the lights flicker. It's rugged too. IP65 rated, LFIEPO4 chemistry and tested for fire safety. And yes, Blue Yeti backs it with a 10 year warranty. Now onto that EP2000, Blue Yeti's big reveal at this show. This is a system they want homeowners and even small businesses to pay attention to. The EP2000 is modular, of course, starting at 14.7 kilowatt hours and scaling all the way to 51.6 kilowatt hours with up to seven modules. So whether you're running a home or a cafe or a small warehouse, this can scale to your needs. And AC output ranges from 10.5 to 20 kilowatts, which means it's powerful enough for high demand appliances. Think EV charging, pool pumps, or even running a heat pump or heating and cooling your home. Now on the solar side, it supports up to 30 kilowatts of PV input. That's a serious amount of solar integration. And the flexibility also matters here. Like the EP7060, the EP2000 supports on-grid and off-grid use. So if you're in the suburbs, it's a bill cutter. If you're out on a farm or want resilience, it's an off-grid powerhouse. Now, Blue Yeti's pitch has always been about making energy accessible. They've already built a reputation worldwide with 3.5 million users who trust them, mostly in portable power. Now, this move into home ESS shows they want to bring that same blend of rugged design and app-based smarts, and of course, modular scaling to your garage wall. But let's talk about the real world benefits here. Both the EP7060 and the EP2000 plug into Blue Yeti's app, where you can monitor and see your solar production in real time, the battery status, and the usage. You can also control when you charge it and discharge it, which is handy for tariff management or prepping for a blackout. And because Blue Yeti has a growing installer network here in Australia, they're promising quick installs and local after sales support. Safety, that's a big one, right? It's built in. We're talking LIFPO for cells, cell level protection, redundant relays, and rugged aluminium casing. There aren't just portable batteries blowing up to bigger sizes though, they're engineered as proper home systems with durability to match. So how do they fit into the market? Well, the EP7060 is a strong option for homeowners wanting reliable backup and moderate scalability at an affordable entry point. It's rebate eligible, app connected, and can scale to cover most Aussie homes very comfortably. And the EP2000 is Blue Yeti's answer for anyone with higher energy demands, whether there's EV charging, heavy appliances, or small business setups. And with up to 51.6 kilowatts of storage and 20 kilowatts of output, it's clearly designed to go head to head with bigger players in the residential and light commercial storage market. So my take, Blue Yeti's not just playing catch up here, they're bringing some serious firepower, especially with the EP2000. And because they've already got a reputation for delivering solid, affordable, and portable system, this is a natural step up. So if they can back it with the same reliability and support they've built in the portable market, I think we'll be seeing a lot more of Blue Yeti systems on Australian garage walls over the next few years. This is a new line of products for RVs, 48 volt systems, and they're looking to install that into the Australian Outback RVs. And what's really exciting is they're already experienced in providing external batteries that you can take outdoors and take camping this is a fantastic extension for those who look for outdoor adventures what i recommend blue yeti if you're looking for a balance between performance and price the ep7060 is a great entry point and if you've got higher energy needs or want to plan for future demand evs big loads maybe even running a business 
the AP2000 is one that you should seriously look at. So that's it at the Blue Yeti booth at the All Energy Australia event with the EP7060 holding steady and the EP2000 making its big debut. Drop your thoughts in the comments below which one would suit your home best and of course don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned. More booths to come, more energy tech and more deep dives are coming up. Tech Band, Pat out. Goodbye! <laughs>